Trish Liberdine, and today I'm going to share with you some crochet Valentine's Day project ideas, all with either tutorials or patterns linked in the description box down below. So if you want to recreate these, you could either watch the free tutorials that I have for you, or you know, go and check out the uh, pattern options that they have available to recreate it. But without further ado, let's get started. Starting with my videos that I have for you on my channel. So the very first project I want to share with you is a one that I'm wearing right now. It is a crochet heart halter and I have a tutorial on how to make it um, on my channel. So if you want to recreate it, then you could do so by following that video. And of course you can make it in any color. I am actually thinking of recreating that video and remaking this, but in pink and also like some other little alterations to make it better. But we'll see in the update. But for now, this is the only video I have on how to make no, technically I have two videos on it. <laughs> the um, really, really old one, which is this one, and then I have this one, this is the updated version. I would recommend watching this one, that's the one that I linked in the description box below. But yeah, in addition to this project, I also have a video on how to make this crochet heart tote bag, which I love. This is probably one of my favorite projects ever, and I use this crochet project the most out of like almost anything that I've made. So I absolutely love this. And again, everything is linked for you in the description box below. I show you how to make it, how to recreate it. And of course, as with anything here, you can choose whatever colors that you like. So if you don't necessarily like the pink and white, you could use red and white or red and pink or you know, whatever colors that you like. But uh, yeah, you just go ahead and follow those steps and you can recreate it. The next tutorial that you can find on my page is my latest project, which are these crochet earmuffs. So I have two of them actually. At first I made these crochet earmuffs that were round and then had a heart in the middle. But then I was like, you know, I actually want the earmuffs themselves to be heart shaped. So I made another tutorial a few days later on how to make them heart shaped. So I have two tutorials on heart earmuffs. If you're interested in watching either or or both of them, they're both available to you. Although personally, I think I like the actual heart shaped ones better. But yeah, they're both cute. Anywho, um, if you want to move away from like heart shaped things, I also have this tutorial on how to make this pastel pink crochet top. Very simple to do and it has like a little slightest little detail to it so it's not just a plain basic top. There's some little like design to it too. If you want to try that out, that's in the description box down below. And then the last project of mine is this heart bucket hat. Yes, back to the hearts. There's gonna be a lot of heart themes today. <laughs> but yes, it is this heart bucket hat. And yeah, all of those video tutorials can be found on my page for free for you to follow and recreate these projects for yourself. Now moving on to uh, the other Valentine's Day project ideas that I found across the internet. And again, everything is linked in the description box down below. And um, those have written patterns. So the first project of that category is this crochet Valentine's Day bee and it's so cute and I know that the uh, crochet bees are like very very popular and I feel like every time I do one of these videos there's always a bee like Halloween themed bee, Christmas themed bee, anything themed bee there's there's gonna be a pattern for it and it's super cute so I get it but yeah so the first idea is this crochet bee and then sticking with the like plushy theme, we also have this crochet bunny, which I thought was super cute. And it's holding a little heart, so it's absolutely adorable. And I love that it has like little bows on its ears. How cute is that? But yeah, that's another cute idea. And then there's this crochet cow, which is so cute. I could totally see it looking absolutely adorable with pink yarn instead of red yarn too. But of course, like with anything, it could be any color. Just the fact that, you know, the spot's shaped like a heart. So cute. And of course, there's so many different plushie options, but moving on from the plushies, uh, there's also a pattern on how to make this heart basket, which would be great for the home. And it also reminds me of making a little heart trick or tray. So I guess you can make this large basket, or you could scale it down and make a little trick or tray. I think that would be really adorable as well. And then speaking of like home stuff, there's also this crochet cat bed, which, oh my gosh, if I had a cat, I would absolutely make one of these. <laughs> However, I only have two very large dogs, so this would be like a massive bed for me. But if you have a cat, make this. This is so cute. And then we also have a smaller um, project ideas, like these heart keychains. I like that these have a little twist to them because they're not just plain hearts. They're like an angel and a devil, and I thought that was kind of cute and different. So I include them in here, but they also have um, just regular like heart-shaped patterns that are kind of like these little plushy keychain hearts. So those are cute. Now moving on to crochet clothing, which is personally my favorite thing to crochet. So the first project that I have for you here is this heart 
uh, designed vest and I absolutely love the color combination of the light pink and red but this one is really cool and totally worth giving out a try. Um, it has the Powerpuff Girl theme like heart within a heart design which I think is adorable but yeah the next project that I have here is this crochet heart set so it's like granny square hearts in like different colors and stuff on a top as well as on pants which i've never crocheted pants before so this would definitely be something that i'd be interested in doing if i had the time however i have so many projects in the pipeline right now that i'm currently working on hopefully trying to get it in or up on my channel before valentine's day so maybe i'll put this on my list for next year but this is super cool if you have the time to work on this um I would highly recommend that you would because this looks really awesome. So the video of me talking about this next project got corrupted somehow, but I have to include it in this video because I didn't even know this was something that could be made in crochet form. And it is this Letterman jacket, this crochet Letterman jacket. Isn't that amazing? But it is like heart themed. So I had to include it in this video for Valentine's Day because it's super cool. But like in general, the fact that it's a Letterman jacket, like a crochet Letterman jacket, I think that's absolutely amazing. But anywho, just wanted to include that in here. Then we also have this crochet granny square sweater, which looks super cozy. And again, loving that color combination of the red and pink and then the white in there. So yeah, that's an adorable uh, project as well. And sticking with that cozy theme, we also have uh, this heart beanie that has the hearts like crocheted into the design instead of like it being a granny square, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, so the hearts are like really really tiny and cute so there's this one and then i also found this pattern too so they're like slightly different but it's kind of the same idea where it has like the hearts around the beanie super cute and then again sticking with the cozy theme we have these crochet heart socks which i think look fantastic and i think that this pattern also comes with the sweater as well so not necessarily like hearts within that design but still like the colors that they used very valentine's day-esque and this next project is really cute too it's the only one that is not uh, pink so far it is made out of this blue yarn but of course again you could change to whatever color you like but i thought this one was interesting because instead of like a cardigan like button-up sweater kind of thing it's just a pullover and it looks very cozy and i love the little like square heart designs all over and then even the little heart it has on the sleeve and then going back to like the home decor, home related crochet projects, we have these crochet candy heart pillows, which are perfect for Valentine's Day. I don't know if they have different um, phrases on there, but the ones that they have on the listing are Netflix and chill, true love, and so this is love. But again, they might have different options for you if you wanted to say something else. Then we have a few like heart wall hangings, tapestry kind of things. So we have this one, which again has that like Powerpuff Girl heart within a heart pattern. I don't know if it's originated from Powerpuff Girls or if it was a thing before that, but that's just what it reminds me of every time I see it. Then we have this other wall hanging, which is like this like puffy heart shaped thing, which I think is very interesting and gives it more texture. And I think that was really cool too. But if you want to keep it simple, we also have this wall hanging that's just the heart in the center of it. So, oh, it has a like, little fringe on it too, which is really cute. And lastly, I found this tapestry that has L-O-V-E in different like colors and like in bubble bubble font, which I thought was really cute too. So a couple different wall hangings and room decor things that you could create for Valentine's Day season. Lastly, I wanted to end this video on an extra adorable note. And the last pattern that I'm going to share with you today is this heart cat headband, <laughs> which is too cute. So again, I don't have a cat, but if I did, I would be dressing them up in little crochet costumes and stuff like this so they could have their uh, heart cat bed as well. They would have so many different kinds of cat beds, but alas, I only have, you know, two massive dogs, so it's a little bit harder for me to make things like that. But um, if you are a cat owner, there's so many different like adorable crochet cat um, projects for you out there. But anywho, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please get a big thumbs up before you go. And if you love crochet, I have so many crochet videos ranging from beginner friendly tutorials to more advanced tutorials to crochet with me to crochet project ideas like this one and so much more. Um, please 
Um, check out the rest of my channel if you love crochet and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both are at Crystal Everdeen. It's a fun time and I would love to see you there. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye and have a magical day.